Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and The Restless teasers, Phyllis Summers will do what she does best, delve into her bag of tricks. Although Phyllis is continually talking about how she has changed, it is difficult to uncover concrete evidence that she has. Of course, Phyllis took her scheming to the next level by faking her own death. You could argue that Phyllis isn't as sneaky anymore, which is improvement. Phyllis, on the other hand, is likely to never stop planning against her opponents, particularly Christine Blair, as Cricket is her actual adversary. Despite her anger and humiliation, Phyllis accepted Danny Romilotti's official decision to choose Christine and draw a clear line in the sand. However, Phyllis later intimated that she was not finished feuding with Christine. Now, Phyllis intends to make Christine regret winning this love triangle. According to Yi and our teasers, Phyllis is about to do something outrageous, something that can only be described as classic Phyllis. It sounds like it may entail some type of throwback, so fans may get a taste of the past when Phyllis carries out her cunning scheme. Danny invited Christine to join him on tour. Perhaps Phyllis might accompany them to their hotel suite at a rest break along the way. Phyllis once placed an octopus in Christine's bed to ruin her honeymoon with Paul Williams. Could Phyllis throw an octopus in Christine and Danny's bed next, or another similarly disturbing creature? However, Phyllis may pull off another prank that reminds viewers of the schemer she truly is. Regardless, Christine will be furious and seeking for any excuse to make Phyllis pay. That leads us to an important point. Phyllis is still on probation and could face arrest if she breaches it. Whatever Phyllis comes up with, Christine may be able to pursue charges and have Phyllis dragged away in handcuffs. Will Phyllis have hit rock bottom if she ends up in jail? Could this help Phyllis recognize that she needs to change for real, rather than just claiming she has? Phyllis needs to make some significant changes in her life, so any terrible legal news could perhaps be a good thing in the end. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Phyllis' joke might backfire horribly if she isn't careful, so stay tuned for our predictions on her probable doom. Lily eventually went home to discover Daniel, Heather, and Lucy acting as one big happy family. Lily quickly realized that Daniel and Heather had rekindled their relationship while she was away. Daniel swore it wasn't intentional or that Heather planned it, but Lily believed Heather wanted it. She was even more heartbroken when she discovered that her brother Divin knew what was going on behind her back. Lily approaches Heather and says, You made your choice. I will make mine. Heather responds, I assume that means you're going to fire me. Lily mocks, Ah, I'm not sure, Heather. I haven't decided yet. She exits and runs into Daniel on her way to the door. Will Lily dismiss Heather or keep her and make her suffer? Ashley's altar began to make advances with Tucker, but he was also concerned that Ashley was experiencing a mental breakdown. When he postponed a trip to Paris with Audra, it was the final straw for her since she knew it was about him and Ashley. Tucker clutches Audra's arm the following week on the patio of Crimson Lights. She exclaims, Don't touch me. Nate interrupts and exclaims, You heard the lady? Nate and Audra have previously worked together, but might their relationship become romantic? Kyle has struggled to deal with the fact that his father promoted his mother above him in the firm and gave her a position that he believes should have been his. Things are about to get ugly for mother and son as Diane informs Kyle. You seem to forget that I am your superior. You should report to me, not the other way around. Kyle grumbles, well, please forgive me if I overstepped. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, no new episodes will run on Thursday, March 21 or Friday, March 22. So, what can we expect when the next fresh episode premieres on Monday, March 25? The Young and the Restless spoilers. Coming up on The Young and the Restless for starters, Supporters need figure out whether Jordan is dead or alive. Lily Winters also faces up against Heather Stevens. Nate Hastings comes to the rescue. 
Diane Jenkins Abbott also loses her cool with Kyle Abbott. Lie and R Spoilers Monday, March 25. Lily vs. Heather, Nate's rescue mission, Diane's family explosion, the young oh, and the rest the remainder of the week is preempted and no official lie and R spoilers have been revealed. We can only make educated predictions regarding Monday's episode. Typically, scenes from the preview clip feature Monday. So let's get started and discuss what to expect when Monday actually arrives. E and R spoilers. Lily Winter's Fury. On Monday, March 25, fans may witness Lily confront Heather, as shown in the weekly teaser clip. Heather wonders if she will be fired from Chancellor Winters. Lily claims she has not made up her mind yet. Lily gets up from the table at Crimson Lights and walks out. However, Lily comes to a halt when Daniel Romilotti Jr. enters. The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Nate Hastings' rescue mission, The Young and the Restless Tucker McCall, and Otter Charles had a public spat, according to Monday, March 25 spoilers. Tucker goes for Audra's arm as she pulls away from him, visibly upset and distraught. However, Audra pulls away from Tucker and orders him to leave her alone. Nate happens to see the argument and intervenes. Nate plays the hero for Audra and confronts Tucker. What are the chances that Nate and Audra will be in bed together? Lie and R spoilers for Monday, March 25 on Monday, March 25. Fans will undoubtedly find out whether Jordan is dead or alive. Jordan ingested what she claims was poison. Then Jordan slumped and pretended to die. There are fans that believe Jordan is still alive, however. Jordan's downfall appeared to be quite dismal, and the Newman women had it far too easy. Fans should also anticipate Diane to be furious at Kyle. Diane reminds Kyle that she is the person in charge. Kyle responds smartly before stomping off. Which plotline are you most looking forward to seeing on Monday, March 25? What predictions do you have for Jordan, Lily, Heather, Daniel, Diane, and Kyle? What does the future hold for Audra, Tucker, Nate, and the other Geno City residents? Share your opinions in the comments area below. Remember to keep watching CBS or Paramount Plus to see what happens next. Make sure to keep up with everything going on at We and R right now. Check back frequently for the young and the restless spoilers, news, and updates. On Wednesday, March 20, the young and the restless aired an episode that speculated on what would have happened if Jordan hadn't stolen Clara slash Eve from Victoria and Cole. From what we could discern, it would have saved Cassie's life, made Adam much more unpopular with his family, completely erased Christian, and kept Sharon and Nick together. That's a tall order, but soap operas have already pondered on how one life lived differently could have impacted many more. Here are a few of our favorites. You take the good and the bad. In 2018, to commemorate Maurice Bernard's 25th anniversary, General Hospital aired an episode in which everyone's favorite mobster never committed a crime. Instead of owning a coffee empire, Sonny would have became a cop, married his teenage flame Olivia, proving that Connie slash Kate was only a fling, and reared Dante from the start. Dante would have been the culprit, and Anna would have been a corrupt cop. Why? Well, because her daughter, Robin, died of AIDS at the age of 19. You see, without Sonny, the generous donor, funds would not have been contributed to essential research that saved Robin. Because Sonny is the only person on the earth concerned about HIV care, and the only person who cared about Robin, the quarter mains would not have stepped forward. The entire town of Port Charles would have turned its back on her. Thank heavens, Sonny killed his first victim. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.